So in this section, we're going to be considering surds. And before we continue, we need to know what we mean by a surd. Um, so a surd is an irrational number. Um, so the square root of 2 is an excellent example of this. It is an irrational number. I cannot write this any more simply. Um, I cannot remove the square root. So the point of this is that when we refer to surds, what we traditionally mean is it is the square root of a value, of a number. And I can't remove the square root. Now, we don't have to limit this to square roots. We could also have the cube root of 2. This is also a third, or the fourth root of 2. So we can have nth roots, uh, and we would still refer to them as thirds. They are irrational uh, because I cannot write them as a fraction uh, with one integer over another, um, where the denominator is non-zero, of course. So I can't write it like that. And if you wrote that on, into your calculator and you press equals and you have the decimal equivalent going out, uh, then what you would have is a non-repeating uh, set of digits. So uh, they have that property alongside pi, for example. Okay. But not every number that I write underneath the square root is a third. Uh, root 3, that is a third. Root 4, however, is not a third. And the reason for that is because that is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. So this is not a third because I can remove the square root and simplify it down to 2. Likewise, I could have the square root of a quarter. This is a half. So the square root of a quarter is not a third. OK? However, the square root of one half is a third. OK? So what you're looking for to identify whether a number is a third or not is if you're square rooting a square number or if you are cube rooting a cube number. So the cube root of 8 is not a third, because that is 2. OK, so that's not a third. But the cube root of 7, that is a third. OK, so when you're square rooting, you're looking for square numbers. If you're cube rooting, you're looking for cube numbers, and so on. OK, so that's how we can identify whether a number is a third or not.